increased waste, increased risk for tenopathy. Why would having a bigger waste increase your risk for tenopathy? The reason is low-grade inflammation. The fat we carry around the waste is metabolically active and is contributing to inflammation. Even when the additional stress from added weight is accounted for, where you carry that weight makes a difference. This was the case even among competitive volleyball players who are in better shape than the average person. Male players with a waist circumference of more than 83 centimeters, which is 32.6 inches, had approximately 74% probability of abnormal imaging of one or both Achilles tendons. Players with a waist circumference below 83 centimeters had only a probability of 15%. This is how important low-grade inflammation is. You don't have to have any other visible signs of this type of inflammation, but now you know one way of detecting it. The authors of the below referenced article state that prolonged systemic low-grade inflammation and impaired insulin sensitivity act as a risk factor for a failed healing response after an acute tendon insult and predispose to the development of chronic overuse tendinopathies. What about free radical damage? Reactive oxygen species, together with other factors, may influence tendon integrity and contribute to the development of tendinopathies. This is what you can do, in addition to eating an anti-inflammatory diet, as outlined before. You can take curcumin, which has shown to reduce inflammation without the side effects of anti-inflammatory drugs. Just be sure that what you take is better absorbed than regular curcumin, because that is not absorbed well. To reduce free radical damage, the right form of glutathione is a great antioxidant. Most of the glutathione on market comes in the form of reduced glutathione, which is oxidized in the stomach, destroyed, and for that reason is not going to work very well. S-acetylglutathione, on the other hand, is not damaged in the stomach and gets to the tissue it is supposed to protect. It is a very effective antioxidant, 